John David Baker, coach. Uh, last time we talked to you in January, you uh, were on the road more than you were here. And I know one thing you said you wish you could do more of is get to know this current roster. Have you been able to, to do that since all the recruiting and everything? Yeah, absolutely. I, it's been, you know, since we've been off the road, probably two, two and a half weeks now. And, uh, you know, that's been a big emphasis for not only me, but our our entire staff, not even not even the new guys, but the guys that have been here. Because we got, you know, I think we got 21 new guys on the roster that weren't here, you know, two months ago. And so for new coaching staff, coach staff that's been here, it's important for all of us to get around these kids because we got to make sure, you know, before we get out there for mat drills and spring ball, especially like they need to know who we are yeah. um, so we can go coach them how we want to coach them. Can you uh, give me a couple of thoughts on the, the quarterbacks first, Caden Hauser, what did you identify in him as a QB? Skill set wise is obviously the first thing you look at. You know, does he have does he have the arm talent? Does he have the accuracy? Um, does he have a certain level of you know athleticism that can fit our stuff? Um, but then secondly, you you got to dive down in and you got to talk to people um, that have been around him, been in a meeting room with them, spent time with them, um, and that's what we that's what I did was just did as much research as I could. I talked to as many people that have been around him to where I felt comfortable knowing not only the player we were getting, but the person, because that to me is almost more important than the player, because I got to know that this guy's got the ability to take the stress, take the heat of being that guy, um, while also leading, leading his teammates. Jay Garcia, how's, you know, how does he and Caden kind of deal with, we're both coming in and I guess we're going to have a quarterback battle here. Right. To me, the way that the way you explain it, and this is something you know I learned at my previous school, is just like you're trying to you're trying to always upgrade the room and upgrade the roster, and you can't worry about you know people's feelings or what they think. You know, it's my job to add competitive depth to the room, and I, you know I feel like we've been able to do that. But the, on the other hand, for these guys, like all these guys have aspirations of playing in the NFL, and unless you're probably 10 or 12 guys in the NFL, you're fighting for your job every day in that league. So if that's your, if that's your goal, you better get used to it now. And, and so for us, that's what we try and do is just make sure we got as much competitive depth in the room, guys that we feel like whoever's in the game can go win. And, and that's what we've tried to do. And I think we've, I think we've done a good job of it so far. Reem Jeter was already on the uh, roster here and then Cole Hodge was being recruited and, and you helped, I guess, finalize that. How about those two guys? Is that do they have a, a future, perhaps, uh, on Absolutely. the field here? Absolutely. Now, there's there's no starting quarterback at uh, at East Carolina, so Raheem's <clears throat> in there. Raheem is extremely sharp. Now, you ask any question in that meeting room, he's he's one of the first ones to answer it. So Raheem's in it. Raheem competes every day in mat drills, um, and then obviously, like we tell our guys, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a third, fourth year. You know, junior, senior, I don't care if you're a redshirt freshman. The best guy that's going to help us win games next year is going to play. So if it's a true freshman coming in next year and Cole, like, he'll play. I, I really don't care because I've I've done it with both. We played a true freshman at University of North Texas, played a true freshman at University of Southern California, and won a lot of football games doing that. And so at the end of the day, it's the guy that makes the, makes the guys around him better and is going to help us win games. Uh, Dyro Roberts says he's helping you guys figure out where everything is. Y'all are helping him figure out what the terminology in this offense is. So how about that balance? And how about with the players as well, with the you know new playbook, new terminology, all that? Yeah, I think the biggest thing and, and one thing I've had to focus on is understanding. I'm having to just kind of revert back to, okay, what was it like when we left North Texas and went to USC and then – you know, what was that first year like at Ole Miss? You know, I'm I'm not in my I'm not in my fourth year at a school in a system. I'm in the first year. And right. so making sure for me, you know, we're not putting too much on our guys, making sure we've got enough to go get the base of the offense and we'll get to those things with time, but making sure at first we're getting the base down and getting really, really good at that stuff. And then as this thing grows, being able to put more and more on our guys as they can handle it. Is there a position group uh, that you're most excited about? I know, I guess, running backs and tight ends kind of stand out, but but anything on this offense, you're like, hey, I can work with this. We can do something with this. I, the group I'm really most excited about is our offensive line. Okay. I, I really feel like we've got guys that that care, guys that have played quite a bit of ball, and we've got we've added some guys to that room that are going to again bring competitive depth. And so when you look at those guys, you look at their body types. 
that was the thing that I was most excited about is I felt like those guys, they looked the part. And I think they've got the right mindset to go fix fix the issues and get it right. And so that's – and I'm don't get me wrong, I'm excited about the running yeah. backs. I'm excited about the receivers, quarterbacks, all that. But this thing starts and ends with those guys up front. And, you know, that's why Coach Maddox is here, to get those guys right. Um, but as far as personnel and pieces, we got the guys in that room to go win a lot of football games. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Appreciate no it, man. Yep.